YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Yella. I want to thank you all for tuning in. This is going to be my favorite pair of sneakers at the moment. All right. And I say at the moment because obviously we're always copping new sneakers and the rotation can change and I can have a new favorite. All right. I'm entitled to change my mind. But as of right now, and this is uh, January 12th of 2018. Out of the sneakers that I have in my possession, in my collection, these are going to be my favorite sneakers, okay? So, <clears throat> what I did is I, I, I chose my top five, all right? Now, the number five sneaker is uh, pretty important. And I wanted to throw this one in there because this particular sneaker is actually the one that kind of triggered my, my addiction, to uh, kicks again, all right, because I took a, I, I took a hiatus and uh, took a, some time off, didn't cop a whole lot of kicks, I, I really uh, did a whole lot of um, Converse at the time, uh, some Chuck Taylors, I was rocking with those for a little bit, you know, just to uh, be on the cheap side, but I, I bought these, it's, all, it's been almost four years ago now, and these were the kicks that kind of uh, got the blood flowing again. All right, so my number five shoe, okay? Number five, and they kind of beat down right now, are the Jordan 13 Barons, all right? So if you guys remember these, I want to say they released in like 2014. Um, I actually did a video on these when I got them almost four years ago, so you guys can, can go back and watch that video. But there was something about this shoe, I put it on, and it was, it was over, it was over from there. So the addiction, the rush, it all came back. Uh, being a true sneakerhead, it just you know, brought it full circle. And uh, I haven't stopped since. So it's my number five shoe. Obviously I, I wanna do like a, a restoration on it. He's been beat down pretty good. I even played ball in him one time. And I should have never done that because then I got like some uh, like a little pink mark, I don't know if it's from the floor, like floor burn or something. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm sure these can be restored. I love 13s. These are super comfortable. Probably, um, it may be my favorite Jordan, uh, the 13, possibly. But I really like the 13 because of the comfort. I'm flat footed. I'm six foot four. Um, so I, I need something comfortable. All right. So I don't know how you guys feel about the 13s. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what your favorite uh, Jordan silhouette is. The 13 is pretty high for me. But these are super comfortable. Um, I don't know if they're going to ever re-release these, but I would probably grab another pair. But um, if you guys know how to do a good restore on these, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's any particular videos I should watch or if you have any secrets on how to clean the pods. I know these are so hard to keep clean, but I mean, it's, I guess it's not too bad for a shoe that I've had for almost four years. So so this is number five, all right? Number five, the Jordan 13 Retro, uh, the Barons, okay? Now, number four on my list of my favorite sneakers, okay? So these got a lot of burn, all right? I wore these a ton. I want to say these were from 2015. So early 2015, I, I, I grabbed these up. And that is going to be the Jordan 4 Columbias. All right. Now, funny thing with the Jordan 4s, this was my first pair of Jordan 4s. And I realized that being flat footed, for some reason I had to take out the original insert and I use my own that go in here. I got like some special Dr. Scholl's type inserts because for some reason it was rubbing on the side, like right here. I don't know if you guys have that same issue, but maybe it's because I'm flat-footed. But um, when I put my inserts in, it made a world of difference. And I got a lot of wear and tear out of these kicks. So they're not as beat down as the 13s, obviously. But definitely um, up there for some of my favorite sneakers. So um, mm -hmm. I'm feeling the fours. I'm looking forward to um, some of the fours that may be released in this year, in 2018. So we'll... We'll have to see what Jordan pulls out the bag, but the Columbia's definitely, if you guys haven't had a pair of these, I would highly recommend it. 
they were part of the remastered series, which I haven't heard Jordan mention remastered anymore. I don't know what happened with that whole concept, but uh, hit me up what you guys, let me know what you guys think about uh, the Jordan 4 as my number four out of my top five, okay? The Columbia's. Now, number three is uh, Oldie But Goodie. I haven't had it a whole lot. Well, I haven't had it a long time, should I say. I haven't worn it a whole lot. Um, only because I like to really um, match these up, you know, depending on the fit that I'm going with. Because they have purple in it. I, I never had a whole lot of purple in the repertoire. But when I bought these a, a little while ago, it made me up my, my fit game just to match these up. So my number three is the Jordan 5 Grapes, Grape Joints. These are just so chunky to me. I got cop these, I wanna say I got them from StockX, I'm not 100% sure, but I did buy them dead stock. It was either StockX or GOAT, but I don't know, the, the, the fit, the way you can freak these, I just love it. So you can rock them with shorts, with jeans, you know, with khakis, whatever. Like you, you can really do a lot with the with the grapes. So I really love the tongue. I just love the overall clean look of the Jordan 5. A lot of people call it the Fresh Prince joint. Um, you know, they're just the grapes to me. So my number three in my collection of my favorite kicks goes to the Jordan 5 grape. Hit me up in the comments what do you guys think about these all right so that's my number three now we're getting down to the wire and this is really a, a, a toss up here this is a, a tough call but i had to make a decision on what was number two and what was going to be my number one now my number two and i will say that i get tons of wear out of these i wear these a lot all right and it could be some people's number one pick uh, but hit me up in the comments. Let me let me know what you guys would have done for your number one and number two. But my number two in my collection, the Jordan Six Infrared. I wear these a lot. All right, they're just a nice, comfortable shoe to wear. Um, you can wear pretty much anything with these guys here, and just the feeling that I get when I put these on. It's just a classic. It really makes me feel like the the true sneakerhead that I grew I grew up being, and uh, definitely don't regret copping these. I didn't get them for retail. I paid a, a, a nice chunk of change for these, um, but I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of these. All right, so I'm not the one to just collect sneakers and just let them sit forever. I do wear my sneakers. So these Jordan Six Infrareds. With the 3M, I think the 3M is key because I did cop the um, the UNCs, but I ended up selling them because I didn't re realize they weren't 3M, and it just makes a huge difference. I don't know. I, I guess I was kind of disappointed when I looked at them against these, and uh, definitely want 3M on on the Jordan Sixes. So hit me up. Let me go know what you guys think about this being a number two shoe. But it was a real tough decision. Um, but these got number two, which brings me to my number one. So my favorite sneaker in my stable right now. So some may agree or disagree. Uh, but one of the reasons why these are my favorite is because there's a story behind it. Is when my daughter, uh, my daughter was born in 2009. So the first pair of Jordans I bought her were uh, when she was one years old. So in 2010, I bought her. The Jordan 13 Flint joints. All right, so I bought her her pair back in 2010, and I didn't have enough money at the time to really afford to get myself a pair at the same time. And obviously, these things didn't sit around; they sold out before I could get them. So, uh, long story short, I was able to cop them on StockX, dead stock 2010 pair. Just, just sick. I love this Jordan 13. So the Baron, when I bought the Barons a few years ago, 
uh, they really reminded me of how much I really wanted uh, the Flints back in 2010. I wasn't able to get them. So when the opportunity was there, I pulled the trigger, picked them up. I definitely have worn these. I'm even more careful with these. I've heard that they may be re-released, but you know, just yet to be seen. So my favorite shoe right now, I will not part with these, all right? I did have the um, shattered backboards. They were not comfortable. I got to wear them a couple times, but then I sold them. I just didn't see myself wearing them uh, any, any further. They just were not comfortable. But at the time, those were like a grill of mine. And I thought they would always be in my stable, be number one. But for comfort, I, I just couldn't do it. But these guys right here, Jordan 13 Flint joints. This uh, French blue Flint, whatever you want to call them. My number one. All right. So 2018 remains to be seen what's going to be released. Maybe something will come and knock these off. But right now, mm -hmm, still smelling fresh, baby. My number one, Jordan 13. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about my top five, my favorite kicks. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what's in your top five. All right, or would you have made the uh, the Jordan 6s your number one out of, out of the ones that I show? So hit me up. It's your boy Yella. Until we meet again, peace.